Are you a home inspector looking to rank your website in more than one location? Maybe you have different offices or you serve different areas. Let's talk about some changes you can make to your website to show in search results in different areas. So shout out to Bo from Arcane Inspection Services who asked this question on one of Kevin's recent live streams and we've gotten this question before. Hey, in case you didn't know, Kevin goes live from time to time on certain topics with all of our users on Facebook and YouTube. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel or if you subscribe to our emails, you'll get alerts before those happen. You can pop on there, you can interact with Kevin, other Spectora team members, it's a good time. All right, so if you're watching this, I'm gonna make an assumption that you already know the base and the terminology of SEO. That'll help me move this along a little bit faster. If you don't know those things, we have some other videos on our YouTube channel that I can link below that talk about kind of the SEO 101 type of stuff. So the first thing to keep in mind about ranking in multiple locations is that when you get into this part of the game, it's more about telling a set of algorithms that you serve multiple locations. A customer can look at a single sentence on your website and read right away that you serve the next town over or multiple locations. But Google looks more at the way your site is structured to figure out what locations you serve or exist in. And here's a couple tips to send clear signals to Google and other search engines that you're doing that. One, create a special page for each location on your website. This is a way for Google to recognize that your website has dedicated resources to a specific location. But there's a right and a wrong way to do this. So for one, this page should have enough content on it that the user will stay on the page and get all the information they need without leaving it immediately. If Google sees that users are immediately leaving that first page to go elsewhere on your site, they could consider that page what they call doorway content, meaning that the page itself isn't useful, it's just used as a door to get into other pages on your site. They're not gonna like that. So what that means is that scheduling, services, and company information should all be seen on that one location page. So think of it kind of like a mini homepage. You wanna put that location in the title, the headers, the meta description, and the URL, also known as the slug of that page as well. Once you have this location page, you should think about putting it in the main menu or that header bar that's on most websites. That will tell Google that that page is important and it is featured prominently on your site. It's not just like a minor page that's not connected to the rest of your website. Now, if you're making two or three of these pages or more, it's really important that you make each page distinct and have unique content. Google is gonna be looking for that. If you're just sort of copying the same page over and over again and just changing the word of the location or a picture, that's not gonna be good, don't do that. If you're looking for ideas for unique content, a couple ones are you could look for unique Google reviews for customers from that area. Uh, you could embed a Google map showing that immediate area. Location specific images, if you have an inspector that primarily works in that area, you might wanna feature that inspector on the page. Some of that stuff is for Google, but some of it is actually for the users so that when they go to a page, they're immediately kind of reassured that they're not on some generic page. Put your locations in your metadata. So metadata is kind of a vague, intimidating word, but essentially what it means is information about your website that is specifically for search engines. And sometimes this data isn't actually on any part of your website. It's just sort of behind the scenes. Things like your page titles, your URLs, headings within a page. Those are things that Google looks at to kind of make sense of your website and your services. That's why putting locations in your metadata is going to make an impression on Google. And if you serve two locations, then you can put both locations in your metadata. However, if you serve more than two locations, I wouldn't put more than that because that might work against you. Otherwise, you probably wanna put your locations in your metadata as much as you can, as long as it makes sense. Remember that, especially things like headlines, visitors on your pages will see that, so if it feels off to them, it's not gonna be good for their experience. Make a special locations page that contains all your other locations within it. So this is great if you serve like three or more areas. You can create one central locations page, you can put on your main menu, and then under that locations page, you can put different pages for each individual locations. Organizing it in this way is going to be a really strong signal to Google that you're a multi-location company and that you're operating 
different places. And again, putting it on the main menu is also a strong signal to search engines that it's important and that it's worth making note of as they index your site. Get local links. All right, so we're getting into stuff that's a little bit more work, but you always wanna keep an eye out for local businesses that can link to your site. So if you join a chamber of commerce, usually when you join, they put a link to your website on their Chamber of Commerce page. That's a really valuable link. A lot of times Chamber of Commerces will be like .gov pages. And what you can do is you can ask them to link your location specific page on their site. And if you do business with a local realtor or contractor that has a website, you can try to get a link on their site to your location specific page. This is really helpful if like a realtor has a blog that they maintain regularly, you can ask about that. Also, if there's like local blogs, local newspapers that have an online presence, you can see if you can get a link on one of their publications to your local page, that'll be really helpful. All of this is gonna help Google sort of connect the dots and understand that businesses in a certain area are connecting to your business and that there's a correlation there. All right, so let's talk about some of the no-nos about ranking your business for multiple areas. One, do not build a separate website. All right, there's like so many reasons not to do this, I won't get into them all, but just think about it in the realm of home inspection. If you decide you were gonna serve the next town over, you wouldn't start an entirely new business to do that in which you'd have to buy a new business license, rebuild your brand, and then you'd have a lot of confusion between your two businesses, that wouldn't make sense, right? So it's the same thing with your website. Use the resources that you have to expand your influence into different areas. Don't start from scratch and do it all over again and then have two websites to maintain. Two, don't create fake offices so that you can have multiple Google My Business profiles. So I like where your head's at. It's a smart idea to have multiple offices on paper so that you can have multiple Google My Business listings, but Google got wise to that some time ago. So now what they do is they say, if you have a virtual office, a PO box, or even if you're just renting an actual space that has a physical address, but you're never there, if you're reported by one of your competitors or just by someone that searched for your office online and then they showed up and there was no one there, Google will heavily penalize you. So don't do that. Only have multiple Google My Business profiles if you actually have working offices that are staffed by people. All right, so I wanna show you an example of a website that is doing it right that we can kind of showcase. And I'm gonna apologize, maybe this is a signal that this video will be helpful, but I actually looked at quite a few home inspection sites and I could not find any that were really doing it right. I'm not saying they're not out there, but just like I spent like 10 minutes looking around and I couldn't really find any that were doing multi-location stuff really well. So here's a local business in my area that does plumbing and other kinds of contracting and they have about a dozen locations it looks like. You can see at the top that they have locations in their main navigation. On the locations page, they have a map where you can enter your zip code. These state names are a part of their metadata. So Google and other search engines will read these headlines and assign more value to them than the regular text of a page. If you click on any single location, it's gonna take you to a location specific page. Check out how the URL is neatly built for location and then city. Their headers on the page all say the city, they put their business address, they have different local reviews on each page, and they have online scheduling. Check out when I search for plumbers in Nashville, and then Memphis, and then Knoxville. They're on the first page of all three of those searches, although they don't make the Google 3 stack in all three. But keep in mind that these are the three largest cities in the state, and plumbers are a super competitive field, so it's pretty impressive that they're on page one consistently. It's also worth noting that they have the advantage of actual offices in each of these areas, which is significant, but they're still using a good strategy that I would recommend trying to mimic. All right, so now we're gonna look at some awful websites. I'm just kidding, I can't do that. We're not gonna do that. You know who you are. Listen, I hope you see the value in this as your company grows. And if you are at a level where you're managing multiple locations and multiple team members, you really should check out Spectora Advanced. It has features that growing companies need like service areas, auto assigning inspectors based on their location, pay splits for inspectors. Don't even like get me started on the automation stuff. I'll put a link in the description for Spectora Advanced. There's a free trial for that too. Hey, thank you for watching. Feel free to jump in the comments and share some of your experience with ranking for different locations. I hope this was helpful for everyone. Have a good week.